The smell of acrid smoke woke me up out of a dead sleep. I jumped out of bed and ran to the hallway. Thick smoke, waves of it near the ceiling. I opened my 87-year-old mother's bedroom door and shook her awake. Mom, Mom, wake up. There's a fire. We have to get out. When I was sure she was awake, I ran to the telephone that was in the living room. We were alone, staying in my cousin's condo in Florida. I called the fire department and ran back to help my mother out the door. She was in the bathroom. She had locked the door. I could hear her makeup bag opening. The familiar sounds of the top of her CoverGirl foundation, medium beige, coming off and being placed on the sink counter. I recognized all the other sounds as well, of her lipstick tube, Revlon, fire and ice, being taken off. I began pounding on the door, frantic. Forget about your makeup, for God's sakes. It's life or death here. But no good. She just ignored me and opened another container, probably her blue eyeshadow. Her eyeliner pencil. Mom, Mom, stop it. I rattled the doorknob. She just ignored me. For God's sake, and Mom. then the sound of her perfume. Joy by Chanel. I rushed back to the living room and the increasing smoke, and for a minute I think I literally just ran around in circles. Do I leave her? No, I can't do that. Do I stay? No, that's not smart. The firefighters at the door got my attention. They came in full gear, axe, helmet. In just about the same time, my mother came out of the bedroom with her new pale blue robe, like Mae West, lipstick bright red. Hello, boys, she said. What took you so long? Thank you.